Hey guys, welcome to Tony's How To's. In this video, I will show you how to install WSA on Windows 10. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest offer just under this video. So let's get started. So for us to install WSA or Windows subsystem for Android, the first thing that we need to do here is we need to access a browser. So may it be Microsoft Edge or Firefox or Google Chrome, go ahead and open up your browser and we need to access a very specific link. So we'll be linking this link here just below this video so make sure that you check our description. Now in this case, we'll be going to GitHub here and we'll be downloading a code or a package wherein we'll be installing this in our Windows 10. So this uh, code or this package is based or is from Mustard Chef. So thank you to Mustard Chef for creating this one. Now to get us started, the first thing that you need to do here is you need to basically scroll or access the link itself. And from here, just scroll down a bit until you see the section for Windows 10. So they have two options here. So they have two links, the pre-release build and the latest stable build. Now in this case, we'll be accessing the download latest stable builds here. And from here, you could go ahead and scroll down below. Now at the very bottom, you should be able to see the assets section. So we'll be downloading a 7-zip file here. So they have two versions that we could install or download. So we have the remove Amazon version where in Amazon is removed from the package. But we also have the original one here where in Amazon is included. So choose the version that you want here. But for now, I'm going to use the remove Amazon version. Now here the download is going to start. And from here, let's just wait for it to complete. So download is now complete. So what we need to do here is we need to go to the folder where the file is downloaded. Now in here, let's go ahead and open up the file that we just recently downloaded. So I suggest you use 7-zip or WinRAR to open this file. And from here, we need to extract the folder itself. So go ahead and press on the folder itself here and drag it to any location. So we'll be downloading this or transferring this into the downloads folder. Now, once the extraction is complete, the next thing that we need to do here is open up the folder. Now in the folder itself, what we need to do is we need to look for the bat files or the batch file here. So let's go ahead and look for it. Now in here, you'll see the Windows batch file. So it's going to be named as a run. So go ahead and double click on it. And from here, wait for it to run. So in this way, what we need to do next is just play the waiting game. So the installation process might take a few minutes or a few seconds on your side. So go ahead and wait for the process to complete. So the installation might request you to approve some processes. Go ahead and click on yes. And from here, it might ask you to do other things like for example, responding to some of the question here. So go ahead and just follow the steps that you'll be seeing on your screen. Now, once the installation is complete, it's going to say all done. Press any key here. So go ahead and press on any key. Now, once the first installation is done, what we need to do here is we need to restart our PC. So go ahead and go to power here and go to restart. Now, once the restart is complete, the next thing that we need to do here is run the application itself or the Windows batch file. And once you've done that, when we search for Windows subsystem for Android, so when we click on this one, you should be able to open the application itself as you can see on my screen. Now from here on, you can go ahead and tr try using it. Now, if you're having any problems on uh, basically installing the Windows subsystem for Android, you might have to perform additional steps, like for example, enabling Hyper-V and the virtual machine platform enabled on your system here or in your PC and you should be good. So if you're wondering for a very easier way on basically if you want to play games, the easiest way will we have tutorials on how to use virtual Android phones through the use of BlueStacks. So make sure that you check our channel here for those tutorials. So that's about it. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, you could use the link in the description to subscribe. See you in the next video.